Okay, I am 100% against abortion. Oh, good, 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 good. But it, like, I don't know, like this kind of stuff, like it's just, it's just graphic and unnecessary. I just feel like it's disgusting. Well, I agree with you that it is disturbing and disgusting, but I'm curious as to why you think it's unnecessary. I just feel like, the, I mean, okay, they know, like, for the most part, like, people know, like, what it is. Like, students, the, the students. Debate, the debate, I think, the debate is, is a debate on when life begins. It's not a debate on whether it's uh, disgusting or whether it's, a, you know, it's a, a, an ugly a thing to do. Or, or, thing to yeah. do. It's like the debate is on when life begins. Like if you think life begins as soon as con as soon as it's conceived, then you are against abortion. If you don't think that it, if you think life begins somewhere along the line, then you're gonna be they're gonna be okay with this. Because when they look at that, do they you don't, get they don't see a life? Do you get to talk to many pro-choice students and kind of debate the issue at all? Not really. Yeah, and and I appreciate your honesty. Uh, see, we've done hundreds of college and, campuses. And, okay, and, and I'm, my question. I'm not just like, oh, you guys are disgusting. I'm, oh no, I, I'm actually I hear what you're the conversation because I want to hear your guys' side of things, like why you guys actually do it. Sure, and I appreciate that because that that helps clarify, you know, the issue. I, I think part of the problem is that we know why we're pro-life, you and I. Yeah. But a lot of times people don't know why they're pro-life or why they're pro-choice and why they believe in abortion or don't believe in abortion. For example, the, the ladies that are over there uh, at the feminist table, uh, the feminist women's health center table there, they, um, when I talked to them about that, they would disagree with what you just said. She said to me, well, I don't recognize it as a human being. Mm -hmm. So now we have a discussion. I can say to her, if it's not a living human being, I agree with you, you should be able to do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. So that really is, like you said, that is the bottom line, is that. So what this does is this stirs the discussion and gets people to talk to us. But you said, I think it's unnecessary, but what would you say if I shared with you that on a college campus, every time we're on a college campus, we have many students who come up to us and say, is that what a baby looks like after an abortion? About a fourth of the students that we mm. talked to had no idea what abortion is. And they come up and say to us, wow, if that's abortion, I'm canceling my appointment next week. Really? And I go, oh, we have that a lot. Okay, and you know what, honestly, right there, then by all means, keep, keep up the keep up the good fight. Yeah, and that, so thank I, you, I, I appreciate no that. Things like, you know, that you guys had experiences like that. That's oh, really yeah, cool. all the time. And we have students who come up to us and we're Christians as well. Are you a Christian? Oh yeah. Yeah, as a Christian, we also have students who come up to us and say, if I had known that's what it looks like, I wouldn't have done it. Mm -hmm. You're the first person to ever show me that that's what a baby looks like at 11 weeks in the womb. And so, Ours is an informational approach that covers the whole spectrum. And what it does, I'd love to just be out here and show the cute little baby in the womb and get away with it. You know, that's cool. I'd love to just do that. But God tells us to lift up a banner to show the truth. So remember, do you know what the most graphic, disturbing picture in history was? Oh, yeah. And Jesus did that. God put his son on the cross and said, look at this. This is what you did to my son. Your sin is what separates you from me. You put me on the, and you go, wow, if my sin is that ugly, I need to repent. Yeah. And so that's what these pictures do is we have many students who come up to us and say to us, because of these pictures, we were on um, American River College and we were setting up our display and I was not in the mood that day. I just thought, I got to get in the mood. Lord, help me get in the mood, you know? I just wasn't in the mood. Okay. And I said, um, I, I, I started setting up the display and a student, a woman walks by and she comes over and she goes, you guys were here two years ago. I said, yes, we were. She goes, two years ago I walked by and I didn't talk to you, but I looked at that. I went home and told my boyfriend and my mother, I, I'm canceling my abortion appointment 
because I saw what an abortion actually does. Mm -hmm. And she goes, because of you, I have a 16-month-old little girl at home who I love with all my heart. Oh, she wow. goes, don't stop doing what you're doing. And I went, oh, way to slap me in the <laughs> face, you know. Cool. God just slapped me in the face and said, hey, Don, what, what are you doing here? This isn't about you. This is about showing the people the truth in love and challenging them to change their views. And so if this wasn't working and it, it just wasn't effective, I'd be with you on that. I'd say, hey, you know, try something else. But we, we have story after story after story of students. And do some get mad and hate us and hate God and all that? Sure. Yeah. But Jesus said, they're going to hate you because what you tell them they're doing is evil. Mm -hmm. So we have to show the truth. Yeah. Does that absolutely. make sense? Yeah. No, that's really, really interesting. Like, I'm really glad I stopped and talked to you. I'm just, glad you did too. Just walking on and being like, oh, I hate what they do there. Kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. That's I, cool. I, I agree. And, and it just, uh, so we don't want to dishonor God. We want to honor God.